Hello everyone and welcome to my DIY workshop. This video is one of three on the topic of marking out woodwork and shows you various ways of drawing, copying and checking angles. The other two videos cover the tools and techniques required and how to draw curves. Many if not most woodworking jobs have a stage where you need to draw a line at 90 degrees to an edge like that. This is the tool you need, it's called a carpenter's square. You can get one or two different types and different sizes. This is a good general purpose size. So that shoulder there you lay against the edge of the board and you draw along the steel blade. If you want to draw a longer line down the board like that, you can simply extend the line of the square by drawing along the edge of a steel rule. If you haven't got a steel rule like that, use a straight piece of wood. Now this square looks very simple, but in fact it's a precision instrument. When you buy it, you expect that angle there to be exactly 90 degrees. So over the years in use it's possible for this blade riveted in the handle can get disturbed. So to check that it's still accurate this is how you do it. Draw a line like that at 90 degrees and then turn the square over and check if that line corresponds with the edge of the steel blade. I just want to show you now an alternative type of square. This is called a combination square because it does 90 degrees and 45 degrees. It also has a spirit level. This brass nut is released and the ruler can slide through. The ruler has inches and centimetres marked on so you can do measuring jobs as well. There's a 90 degree and a 45 degree. Here's a quick way of checking if an angle is a true 90 degrees. We use the 345 system based on this right angled triangle. If that side is 3 or a multiple, that side is 4 or a multiple, then that side there is always going to be 5 or the same multiple. So you could have 30, 40, 50 centimetres for example. We can apply that principle to checking this angle here. So taking that side as 3 or a multiply, I'm going to multiply by 6, 6 is 18 and that's the dimension I've already marked there. 6, 4 is a 24, marked there. So if what I've said is correct, 6 times 5, that means that this dimension down here should be 30. Which it is proving that that is a 90 degree angle. If you want to check that the board itself has got four 90 degree angles, a simple way is to measure across the diagonals and the dimension that you get should be exactly the same. I've done that on a small board, you can do it on a great big board as long as you've got a measuring tape long enough to do it. I just want to show you now an improvisation if you haven't got a square and anything else to check a 90 degree angle. Take an ordinary piece of print paper and lay it, lay it on the board like this. And if that tallies up all the way around then you've got a 90 degree angle. Similarly you can draw an angle. Probably the best way of doing it is to put a little pencil line there, pencil line there, and then use a straight edge to draw your line. 
If you want a 45 degree angle, just fold the paper across like that, very carefully lining up the edges, and now you've got a 45 degree angle. Again, just mark there and carefully mark there. Use a straight edge. And there you've got your 45 degree angle. And you can use the same trick to actually check if an angle is 45 degrees. I'd like to draw your attention to an ordinary hand saw because all the modern ones tend to have a 90 degree angle and a 45 degree angle moulded into the handle. So if you lay it on like that, press the shoulder against the edge of the board and draw across, you should have a 90 degree angle. We'll just check it. And yes, that lines up very nicely. Likewise, we've got a 45 degree angle there. So that's rough and ready. Okay for rough sawn timber work, but not high quality joining work. And in any case, you have to be careful that the teeth, when you lay it on, don't scratch your work. I just want to show you how to copy an angle. And for that purpose you really need an adjustable bevel gauge like this. That slides and you can set this at whatever angle you want. And when you've got the angle you can lock it with that rotating button there. So if you set, just tighten this up just enough so that it's pretty stiff to move. Set it along an existing angle line, tighten up this trigger and then you can copy that anywhere else or do it this way. So that's a bevel gauge. When dealing with angles other than 45 or 90 degrees we need a protractor. It's got graduations for a whole half circle starting here at north right round to 180 degrees and then below that starting to go backwards from north right round to 180 there so we can read from left to right or right to left. Suppose we want to find out the, the angle between that line and that line. Put the protractor on there, cent centred here and we can follow that scale round 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So the angle between those two lines is 55. And because that is a 90 degree angle, 55 from 90 is 35. But to check that that is 35, we can put the protractor on like this and read off 35. So that's on the scale here starting at 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, 35. If you wanted to mark out your own angle of 55, put the protractor centre there and follow the scale up here. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So that angle there is 55 degrees. This is a plan view of two walls that meet at an angle like that. You can't put the protractor on there because these are walls. What you can do to measure that angle fairly accurately is get an old piece of cardboard or perhaps a stiff envelope. Lay the edge along the wall that way and get a straight edge. It can be a ruler or a straight piece of wood and lay that along the wall the other way and draw a line. So that there is the same angle as that and we can use the same routine on that kind of corner between two walls. Lay your piece of cardboard, lay your ruler along the other edge and draw your line. So that obtuse angle is the same as this one here. Then you can lay your protractor on there. If you want to know that angle, it is 70 degrees. 
or if you want to know this angle, this is 110 degrees. The other two videos on the subject of marking out woodwork are listed on the right side of the screen. If you would like to watch one now, you can just click the item. Alternatively, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click on the circular avatar in the bottom left hand corner. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again very soon.